Hello, my name is Skip. I'm building the air cam, and I'd like to tell you how I got interested in it. I've never built an airplane before, but I thought I would <clears throat> make a video as I went along, and it might be helpful to some of you. If you are wondering, can I do this? Yes, you can do this. If I can do this, anyone can do it. The manuals are easy to follow, so let's get started. Okay, we're starting with a horizontal stabilizer. <clears throat> we have a bench set up, it's 4x8. Some of the parts laid out and ready to assemble. Okay, now, this one here. Slide into this one here. Missed a couple holes. Fix that. Okay, just to give you a little closer bird's eye view, as you can see, we just put in those six on the right. Okay, now that we've got everything in place, and looking from the inside, okay, this step here was to get the cables in place, and that will keep everything square once those are in. Okay, looks like it's square. Those cables really do the job on that. The next step is put a couple 2x4s underneath there. Make sure it's perfectly flat. And then we'll go ahead and attach these braces here. Keep everything straight and level. The fabrics are attached with Polytac and it comes with the kit.
Then with the iron you'll stretch the material. Well, the instructions say start off at 250 degrees and you start in the middle. Applying the reinforcement tape. Here we start sealing the fabric with polytac. Actually they call it poly brush because the first ones you brush on and then the second and third coats is actually sprayed on. Now the poly spray goes on. It's a UV protector. It has to have at least two coats and probably three and you want to be sure to sand in between coat one and coat two. Here we're adding the aluminum leading edge. Here's what they look like when they're finished with that polish spray UV protection on them. Three coats of paint and we're done. Before you can prime or paint the aluminum parts, you're going to have to give it an acid wash and then you sand it down. Lockwood sends the vertical stabilizer together with just some small temporary rivets. Then you add some of these clecos to hold it and then drill out the holes to the proper size, drill out the rivets, take it all apart, prime and sand the parts, and then reassemble it. As you can see, we're getting some pretty good looking parts, but you can also may notice that the car had to go. Things are starting to fill up in this garage. Okay. 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 Okay.
first thing you do is put on the glasses. The second thing you do is get a hand. The third thing you do is get a finger. Make this a movie and skip a Ruth's big adventure. Here's the, the point. Well, okay, that's it. Yeah, there's a label of now. Oh, okay. So then that's right. Maybe it looks almost like they put it so that thing is going to match up. Did you build all the tail feathers? Okay. Did you build all these? Yes. Now, are they pre-drilled? Well. Are, are the parts pre-drilled? Yes. Okay. And you just click them in and start riveting them. Huh? <coughs> yep. Yeah. Okay. I've, uh, yeah. I'm going to go over and inspect it quick. He got his paper, he can fly. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, Right. Hi, my name is Phil Lockwood and Robert Meyer and I just flew over to see Skip's air cam that he's just completed and uh, we're going to uh, take a look at the airplane and uh, help Skip through his first pre-flight. I always have a flashlight, it's handy so you can see in the shaded areas and I see you've removed the nose fairing, that's great. So we're going to take a look and see. We're looking to make sure that all these pins are connected, all these uh, cotter pins are connected. Uh, we're looking to make sure that we've got cotter pins in the castellated nuts. Looks good. We're looking for the angles on the pedals to make sure they're raked back appropriately. Um, because some people will get the angles on these, they'll mix up the horns, 
And then, then yeah. remember, Sal built, built it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. He did your uh, your uh, quick build finished yeah. fuselage yeah. for you option. Yeah. Yes. Well, then you're in good shape there. He's quite good at that. But still, those are things that we look at. Going to take a look in here and make sure that everything is hooked up properly. And I can see there's a castellated nut. And Skip, when you look at this, you see uh, if you hold this still, see how there's a little bit of play yeah. between the stick and this. If you just tighten this ever so slightly, it's not a safety of flight issue. It's just a uh, nice precision oh, okay. uh, issue. You normally you don't want to be able to move the stick and not see the ailerons move, right? So they're not moving, and that's all right here. Okay. So all you have to do is tighten this up, and you do it very uh, in small increments, almost one tick at a time on the on the cutter, and you'll reach a point where you'll you'll lose that play, and and if you go too much, then the stick will get tight. But uh, you'll you'll all see right. that stuff will work in. Okay. I don't think you, it looks like you're pretty well locked in between the stick and this tube here. Well, it's all, it's all done there. Yeah, so he's, that's all so, so. he's got that locked in nicely. And he's got your stick shimmed properly. Uh, a lot of sometimes we'll see looseness in the, in the uh, whole control stick assembly where it can move back and forth. And it's shimmed up here. I see this one's been shimmed properly. The jam nut on the push rod between. Can you see that jam nut there? Yeah. So that's tight. I can feel it. Okay. And the push rod rocks back and forth. Looks good. Okay. I would recommend that you uh, get some kind of a rubber boot to go over this. Okay. So this is your plus. If this should contact the frame at all, you're going to get a dead short. Okay. So some kind of rubber, rubber boot that will fit over this. What about liquid tape? You could do that, or I think you, even at an automotive shop, you'll find battery boots that are available. You okay. just pull this off, slide it over the, the uh, positive lead, and then bolt it back on and then slide it back in place. Okay. And, and that, that gives you a little bit of safety there. Same with this end. Have you had the master on? Well, I had it on, yeah. Okay. I was listening to the radio. thought I'd hear, hear an air cam coming. The solenoid's warm. <laughs> Three fingers. <laughs> There's a friend of mine who used to see. It's one inch. A big mark and two little marks. There you go. That's how like me. Yeah, so mine is down here at, at um, this this is down. Uh, you can probably yeah, you'll pr probably be able to work them down. You might have to go in there and loosen them up a little bit. Okay. Which will be a little what, bit of work. What do you want? Three inches? Uh, I'd have to look in the book, but I think this one is is at least uh, two and a quarter down. Okay. And the distance this between is, them was okay. okay. Oh, we need two and a quarter here. Yes, yeah, which means they both come down okay. a little bit. Okay.